This video will be mainly about the speed test of this enclosure. The OWC Envoy Express Thunderbolt 3 M.2 NVMe SSD enclosure. I will also test this Sabrent USB 3.2 Type-C tool-free enclosure just to do a little comparison. I will be using this Kingston 500GB M.2 NVMe internal SSD. And this crucial 500GB P3 Plus M.2 NVMe internal SSD. They are both PCIe Gen 4. And I'll be switching both into the OWC Envoy Express Thunderbolt 3 enclosure. I'll also be testing the Kingston SSD in the Sabrent enclosure. The Sabrent enclosure comes with a USB Type-C cable. To make this video more interesting, I'll be comparing those speeds to this Unirex 480GB serial ATA SSD with a USB 3.0 adapter and this 1TB Seagate external hard drive, this 14TB Western Digital Elements external hard drive, this 064GB SanDisk Cruiser USB 2.0 flash drive, and lastly, the M1 14-inch MacBook Pro internal SSD. First test is with the OCW enclosure and the Kingston M.2 NVMe SSD. So you know I'm using the Thunderbolt 4 port on the M1 MacBook to test these enclosure and drives. Let's take a look at the first test I got. Stress testing 1 gigabyte, and you can see I am selecting the 500 gigabyte Kingston drive in the OWC enclosure. So you could see it gets near or at about 1200 megabyte per second write and about 1500 read or about 9.5 gigabits per second write and 12.3 gigabit per second read. The second test is with the OCW Envoy Express enclosure and the Crucial M.2 MBME SSD. Stress testing the same and you could see it's a 500 gigabyte Crucial SSD. Right now, you're watching the recorded speed. I have not sped up the video in testing this. I want to point out that the cable attached to the enclosure or the integrated cable is a 10.2 inch Thunderbolt 3. Here are the speed results. The write speed is almost as fast with 9.35 versus 9.5 gigabit per second. But the read speeds are the same for both with 12.28 average. Next is Sabrent enclosure and the Kingston M.2 NVMe SSD. Same stress test. According to the description, the cable is a USB 3.2 Type-C. Of course, since this is an external housing, the speed at which data is transferred over the connection is going to be slower than the speed through a PCI bus M.2 internal port inside the computer. The results about 6 gigabit per second write and 6.6 gigabit per second read. And for fun, let's take a look at these older, slower drives. Starting with this 480 gigabytes Unirex Serial ATA 2.5 inch SSD. I've had this since 2017 and was using it as an external drive, reading and writing constantly for Final Cut Pro editing. I had some issues with disappearing files here and there that had to be reloaded. I believe because of the speed not being fast enough using it externally through the connection the adapter. Next, the one terabyte Seagate Free Agent Coreflex Portable External Spinning Hard Drive. I've had this since 2012. Even though it has a USB 3.0 interface, the speed is nowhere near it. It's a 10 year old technology. It's interesting to read the description boasting super speed USB 3.0 for faster performance. As you can see, the speed is not quite what you expect, especially nowadays. Now I have this Western Digital 14 terabyte supposedly has a 5 gigabits per second micro USB 3.0 interface or USB 3.1 Gen 1 and powered using an AC adapter. With this hard drive, I could only think about the sound it makes. Let's <laughs> take a listen while you watch the speed test.
I also have this old 64 gigabyte SanDisk Cruiser USB 2.0 flash drive, which has the hardest time recently having me read what's in it, especially photos. Photos from my full frame cameras. It's very slow as you can see, so I no longer use it. And finally, take a look at the speed of the internal SSD of this MacBook Pro that I'm using to put this video together. Quite impressive compared to those you have seen before in this video. And that's pretty much it. The rest of the video you could see me unboxing and have a closer up look at both the OCW enclosure and the Sabre enclosure. However, with no voiceover. Therefore, thank you for watching. I hope you come back.